Of the eight subspecies of tiger existing only a century ago, only five remain, and one of these, the Chinese tiger, is on the verge of extinction. The Bengal tiger is the most numerous subspecies. In India, where its population is highest, there are between 5,000 and 7,000, scarcely a reflection of the 100,000 and more which lived at the end of the last century. And of all the places on the Indian subcontinent, it is here, in Kana, where the tigers have the largest and most stable population. When a tiger prowls through the jungle, animals emit their warning signs. The langur monkeys utter their raucous and prolonged cry, while samba deer and chital deer beat the ground and raise their tails by way of warning. The tiger's skin makes it invisible in the shadows of the jungle. Measuring over three meters from muzzle to tail and wearing an average of 230 kilos, the camouflage of the largest feline is fundamental in allowing it to approach its prey, despite which it usually needs 12 attempts to catch one. Only the gar, mistakenly called the Indian bison, commands respect from the feline. The gar is the largest wild bovid on earth and is another of Kana's zoological wonders. They live in herds of up to 20 in number and roam through the thickets feeding on bamboo, grasses, rind and fruit. By eating the old hard leaves, the gars give the young leaves a chance to grow, and by breaking the high bamboo, they stimulate the sprouting of new foliage in the lower levels of the forest. The calves are the only ones that the tigers and dolls can attack successfully. If they manage to separate them, from their mothers. But the adults are too powerful. The large males wander alone through the bamboo forests. 1,000 kilograms of brute force and almost two meters in height make them almost impossible to catch for the majority of Kana predators. Armed with an extremely well-developed sense of smell, the gars are permanently on the alert to everything that surrounds them. For only a few days in the year, tigresses are sexually receptive. Courtship can last a week or ten days, and only in places where the tiger density is sufficiently high can they find a male to mate with them. In a world in which they are increasingly rare, the coupling of tigers is extraordinarily difficult to watch. Copulation takes place between 20 and 50 times a day for a period of between two and five days, and always in the deepest depths of the jungle.
During the exhausting courtship, both male and female need frequent rests. The gestation period is short, approximately 15 weeks, because if a tigress had a long gestation, carrying a large fetus, she would become sluggish and unable to hunt for herself. In the world of the tiger, the mother takes complete care of raising the cubs, and once the courtship has ended, the male is transformed into a potential enemy for the litter. The mating of this couple represents hope for the threatened population of the most powerful and handsome of the feline species. In Kana, it is estimated that the population totals approximately 100. But in a country with over 1,000 million inhabitants eager for fertile land, the future of the tiger continues to be a major concern for conservationists all over the world.